your name? Me? Yep. I'm Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi. Uh, I was wondering if you thought that it's all federal funding. Uh, are you first? Would it have a positive, negative, or neutral effect on uh, speech codes? You know, I don't know. Um, that's my honest answer. Uh, but one thing I definitely will say is that um, I think it's an absolute scandal that uh, the price of universities have gone up so much, and what's actually expanding is, and what you're paying for is this massive bureaucratic class. Um, the growth in people involved in, in the bureaucracy have wildly outpaced the, the growth in, in, in instruction at universities across the country. Um, I think it was in 2006 where the number of people involved in just administration finally surpassed the number of people involved in, in instruction at universities, and it's been uh, skyrocketing ever since. Now, why this is particularly galling is not just because you have to pay fifty thousand dollars a year to go to top you know, top like fifty universities or something like that at this point, but also that this additional money is not going to make your education better. It's going to it, to justify and to pay this increasing army of res uh, of residence life officials <coughs> and um, uh, different parts of student bureaucracy who pass speech codes and violate student rights all the time. That w w which actually reminds me of a, of a case I didn't mention: University of Delaware. Um, this, this was a case uh, that I just always thought incredibly horrifying. And this shows you know, like how poorly universities understand the, the boundaries between them and students. This was for all 7,000 students at the University of Delaware. Um, and it was referred to in their own materials at the University of Delaware as a treatment um, for students' racist, sexist, and homophobic views. Now, what's funny about this is that when they actually surveyed students coming in, um, they actually to, uh, to a person uh, 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 tested as actually being pretty damn tolerant. But nonetheless, they had to have this massively invasive intervention, as far as they were concerned, with every single student who left the dormitories. This included a speech code that placed offensive remarks uh, at the same level of urgency as vandalism and assault, and included uh, uh, floor exercises, mandatory floor exercises, where you if you believe this about affirmative action, or you believe this about welfare, you have to go to that wall, and that, that wall if you believe the wrong thing, or that wall if you believe the right thing. Basically a public shaming of students with, 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 with views they didn't like. And creepiest of all, they had these one-on-one -on -one sessions, that's what they're called, with your, um, uh, with your RA, where, you, where you're given a questionnaire that asks you about what races and sexes you would name. Now, keep in mind, these are government officials. These are paid by the state of Delaware in order to do this. And it never occurred to them that they were doing anything less than saving the souls of all the students. And a particularly galling example during this was, okay, freshman girl, uh, male RA, one-on-one -on -one session, here's a questionnaire about your sex life. Um, and when asked, when did you discover your sexual identity? Um, the student responded, none of your damn business. Uh, to which, uh, in response to that, the RA wrote her up for an incident report, and it just kind of shows you like that. That is that, that is that looks nothing vaguely like the, any kind of society I would want to live in. The idea that a government official can actually uh, browbeat you about your sexual identity, and I, I remember going to speak at the University of Delaware and explain it's like, okay, can't you at least understand that like in a previous era that a program like this would probably be used to root out gay students so, that, so they could kick them out? Like, are you at least getting that? And no, they, they, as far as they were concerned, they were saving the world, and therefore they could do whatever they wanted um, to uh, to reform these students that they obviously thought were somehow mentally ill, and the only people who could save them was President's wife. I'm um, sorry, uh, University of Delaware is one of those. And, and these programs, they, they try to pop up all over the country. The fire's been pretty effective at keeping them at bay. But it shows you that, you know, something is very wrong when administrators have such a contemptuous point of, uh, point of view about students and also believe that they have the right to somehow heal them uh, from within with some with basically pseudo-psychological counseling. Um, that's a long answer. You, sir. Um, what would, uh, capsule summary, no. what would IUV have to do to go from yellow to green? Um, I actually, Nico's been working on that. Um, with, 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 yeah, hooray! <laughs> They have a speech zone policy, and it's one of these things where, just, just to give some background on speech zones, the one that I always like to cite is Texas Tech University speech zone, which is which for 28,000 students, 
only allowed one 20 foot wide gazebo on campus for all quote unquote free speech activities. Um, yeah, Valdosta State. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the only area that you can and, 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 and they included in that handing out. Uh, ha ha handing out papers and, and leaflets. Yeah. And so you couldn't even fit all 28,000 students, like th th not even a tiny fraction of them in this area. So they were actually made by court order um, of the Fifth Circuit to recognize the fact that open areas on campus, on a public campus, are presumably free speech zones. Everything that the university wants to prevent, they already can prevent, and they already do prevent in their codes, like kind of like any kind of like disruption of classes, any kind of anything, um, any kind of violence, any kind of vandalism. They always have the power to stop that, but they want to go even further by basically saying, and you get four feet um, in order to do this. So we're trying to talk them into dropping the the speed zone. Um, and as we, you know, the first one we defeated was at West Virginia University, and we assured them, drop the speed zone, and we promise you the sky won't fall. There's also a civility code. At, um, uh, for the whole th that system wide now civility sounds like a nice thing, um, but it's constitutionally incredibly clear that <laughs> here's here, here's self government and, and, and meaningful debate and, and, and discussion. And here's the value of being nice. Now I want I'm a fairly nice person. <coughs> right now. I'm sure most of you are, and most of you are in your private life. But I think most of us would be damned if we had to be nice if it, if it was an issue that we really cared about. That's one nice thing about being a New Yorker too. Is that like it, it, is that New Yorkers always understand that kind of like you have a you you have, you have more than a constitutional right. You have a God-given right to tell someone to go to hell if they're wrong. <laughs> um, so the civility code, and that's actually that was actually overturned for the entire California State University system um, in a case that Fire was involved with, where students um, that San Francisco State University uh, is a very as a various uh, pro uh, Palestinian uh, constituency. And the college Republicans there thought it was a very one-sided debate, and they, and they didn't like the support for Hamas and Hezbollah. Um, so they made mock-ups of the Hamas and Hezbollah flags and stepped on them during a protest. Now this is a deadly serious protest going on at San Francisco State University. They were brought up on charges of lack of civility, and it's kind of like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is, this is important. This is a live-or-die issue. This is about terrorism. This is about independence. This is about uh, the idea that you have to be nice during the course of that is just, just not. Uh, just not a limiting factor when it comes to debates that are this serious. So, th so in California, that system got entirely over uh, that, that, uh, that civility code got entirely overturned. So, and I mean, that's we have actually we're, we're going to have something up at the fire website, which is thefire.org. Um, check uh, check it out um, because we uh, we'll have a longer explanation of what the university needs to do to get to green light. But we'd love to have you guys. So yes. Did you just call them laws of terrorism? De I said designated terrorist organization. Mm. Yeah, that's not me saying it. That's the U.S. government. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no. That's why I say designated, though, because I'm, I'm not. It, it, yeah, it's designated by the U.S. government to be a terrorist organization. You, you can disagree with them. What's that? I think the dictionary disagrees with that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 if you fly through Kenji, it's not there.
sorry for that. I don't think that. I mean, that's not the we're getting. Because that is racist. Uh, that is discrimination in some way. How is it? Is that it's not It doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> it, it's not with discrimination, but it is kind of like, it will be racist. I'm not, I don't know the, the word on top of my head, but uh, the closest thing I get to right now is racist. I'm not basically. The freedom of speech seems like a tool to, to spread any kind of views, racist yeah. or libertarian or anything else. It's just speech is a, something that we use to relay ideas. So absolutely, I think speech couldn't be used well, to, uh, justify to justify your, your racist propaganda. Okay. Absolutely. And then that goes from there. You said I, we kill ideas, not each other. However, yeah. what when those ideas become action, when people get right. heat up. No, 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 no. That's, that, that's, that, that's completely... That, 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 that tears autonomy away from it, individuals when you say that, but I had no choice but to kill you because you said something hurtful to me. That's not that's not a society anybody wants to live in. Exactly. Right. So what we allow, what we don't look down to on people from killing me. I can say whatever I want, though. Exactly. All right. What, okay, let me say this. What if, how about, if, if I poke you to me, uh-huh. Right. And, you're, and see, see how you can't actually do the argument that, you, that I think you're trying to make without actually going from a- action to from word to action. That basically, and that, that's one of the things that one of the great one of the great revolutions in. Cartoon, isn't that action?